Today I'm going to show you how I built this free art easel. So I started with some scrap wood that I had laying around and some extra hinges. I ran the 2x4s through the table saw both directions to make a 1 inch by 1 inch long strips. I'll cut those down to make the frame and the legs of the easel. To cut the board length I want to use my table my table saw sled. It's not quite long enough so I ended up clamping on some boards to it to extend past the end and then clamping on a board there for my length I wanted 16 inches from the blade. For the shorter boards I'll let it get away with not adding the extension onto the end of my table saw sled. My Craig uh, pocket hole jig comes with a guide here. You set the distance. You see it's one inch. And these slide on the side and I have the arrow point right at one inch. The Craig jig also comes with a driver bit the square end that fits square end holes. They come in a whole variety of sizes and I have a bunch on my pegboard over here as you can see. I clamp one of the holes centered on the board and the other end up against this little stop there. I just use the drill and blow it through. Then I realized spacing is just right so I can clamp it down once and cut two holes. I'm using these Harbor Freight corner clamps to hold everything in place before I uh, spread the screws in. go two very strong frames exactly the same now I have the two frames hinged together so I built an H support structure with pocket holes again with holes at the ends and I put one hole in the middle of the top one and four holes in both the sides. So I have some bolts for the hinges here. I've got some bolts to position the four different holes. This is now complete. Thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later. This is Lance. This is my workshop.